Hello everyone, today we'll be going through Cambridge IGCSC Additional Mathematics Paper 1 0606-12 Feb March 2022. Let us move to the question number 1 and question number 1 says uh, Part 1 Find the value of k such that the line y is equal to 9kx plus 1 does not meet the curve y is equal to this one which is 5 mark question this is not part of the question i'll explain in a while uh, now this one we can equate these two equations and we can write 9kx plus 1 is equal to kx square plus 3x into 2k plus 1 plus 4 and now we can um, open the brackets also so it will be simplification basically algebraic simplification we will be doing and it is kx square plus this will be 3 to 2 6kx plus this will be 3x plus 4 and now we can shift everything to the other side so it will be quadratic equation in form of x so k x square plus 6 k x plus 3 x plus 4 and minus 9 k x minus 1 is equal to 0 and this will be k x square and these two uh, this one and this one can be simplified so it will be minus 3 k x and plus 3x and plus 3 is equal to 0. Further, we can take x common for uh, quadratic equation. So, kx square minus from these two, we are taking x common. So, we can rewrite it as like plus x will be taken common and inside will be 3, uh, 3 basically. We can uh, write 3 minus 3k. 3 minus 3k. So this will be the coefficient of x square. So we can write x on this side and this will be basically our uh, format. And this will be next will be plus 3 is equal to 0. Now this is algebraic equation and we know here that does not meet the curve. So b square minus 4ac which is uh, discriminant will be taken as less than b square minus 4ac will take less than 0 and from here abc values we can write a is equal to k and b is equal to 3 minus 3k and c is equal to 3 these values we will utilize and we will write b square it means 3 minus 3k square b square minus 4 into a into c and this should be less than c and further now we can open this square so this will be 9 plus 9 k square minus 3 3 are 9 9 2 are 18 so 18 k and minus this will be 12 k is less than 0 and now quadratic equation form of uh, k we can write 9k square minus this will be 30k and 30k plus 9 is less than 0. Further, we can mm, now uh, divide this uh, quadratic equation by 3. So, 3 or we can take 3 common. So, we can write this one k square minus 10k plus 3 is less than 0 and 3 is not less than 0 so we leave this one so this implies 3k square minus 10k plus 3 is less than 0. Now we can uh, solve this uh, quadratic equation and mode 5 3 and coefficient of k square is 3 coefficient of k is minus 10 and the constant is 3 so we can write numbers will be 3 and 1 by 3 3 and 1 by 3 change sign we are now providing the working so k minus 3 
and 3k minus 1 is less than 0. So, k or we can write here equal to 0 and then we will be checking the uh, uh, values we will be checking from the graph. So, k minus 3 is equal to 0 and 3k minus 1 is equal to 0. This implies k is equal to 3 and k is equal to 1 by 3. So, these will be the two values. Now, we have to check for the range of values basically inequality sign we need to check now. So, we can draw this, uh, this quadratic equation which is this one. So, um, k square if we sketch roughly the quadratic equation it will be like this one so it will be opening upward and if i'm not drawing basically y axis if i'm drawing only x axis and this will be the x axis and this will be the curve this point will be uh, x value will be uh, two values are 1 by 3 and 3. So, this will be 1 by 3 and this will be 3. So, lesser values are required. So, we require this portion which is lesser portion. So, in between these two, so our inequality will be k is greater than 1 by 3 and less than 3. In between these two, we will be writing. This will be our answer and this is the graph which I have plotted uh, so by the help of a software which there are so many softwares available on the net and you can use any of them so you can use any of them and if you check this uh, graph this is basically here you can see uh, this one is 0 and 3 this one is the y intercept which is not required but this is required in this case which is 1 by 3 which is written 0 0.333 and 0 and the second intercept is this one 3 and 0. So, this is uh, the neat curve. You you can practice by the help of so many softwares available on the net and but keep in mind these type of softwares will not be available in exam but you can practice for and improve your understanding of the curves and the graphs. So, let us move to question number 2 and the question number 2 says don't use a calculator in this question and solve the equation this we have to solve giving your solutions in the form a plus b root 3 where a and b are the rational numbers and this is 6 marks question. So, if we see this given uh, equation is quadratic equation uh, in in terms of x so we can write a value a value is 3 minus 5 root 3 this is a value and b value is uh, 2 root 3 plus 5 this is b value and c value is equal to minus 1. So, we can uh, use quadratic formula and the quadratic formula is what x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c over 2 a if we replace the values in this quadratic formula so th this will become uh, minus b so minus into 2 root 3 plus 5 minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c so b square will be 2 root 3 plus 5 and this should, will be squared minus 4 into a which is 3 minus 5 root 3 and into c will be minus 1 extend the fraction extend the root also and over 2a so 2 into uh, 3 minus 5 root 3 and this will be the now we further we have to just uh, simplify this and to simplify this, we can simplify the uh, root portion. We'll open this square first of all, and rest of the things we'll keep as it is. So it will be minus 2 root 3 plus 5 over, we will be writing 2 into 3 minus 5 root 3, 
and plus minus we will put bracket over here and minus should be out over here and then this will be square we can open this will be 2 root 3 will be 2 square will be 4 4 into root 3 will square will be 3 so 4 into 3 will be 12 and plus 5 square will be 25 plus 2 a b so 2 into 2 4 4 into 5 will be 20 so 20 root 3 and next is 4 into 3 will be 12 but because of this it will be minus minus will be plus so it will be 20 plus 12 and minus this will be 20 root 3 this is what we opened and now we can cancel 20 root 3 and minus 20 root 3 these two will be cancelled and rest of the terms we can uh, further copy 2 root 3 plus 5 and plus minus under root will be 12 plus 25 plus 12 so 24 plus 25 will be 49 so we can write this as 49 over this will be 2 3 minus 5 root 3 so further we can open this and we can write it as uh, this will be uh, minus 2 and root 3 plus 5 and this uh, root for 49 will be 7 so we can write 7 divided by 2 and 3 minus 5 root 3 now the this is our x value and now we can uh, separate plus and minus value so we can write x1 this will be positive value we can take and minus 2 root 3 and plus 5 and uh, my plus 7 over this will be 2 3 minus 5 root 3 length here just calculations nothing else no complexion in this so this will be x 2 is uh, second value minus 2 uh, root 3 and plus 5 and this will be minus in this case over this will be 2 3 minus 5 root 3 and now we will solve them separately so x1 will be will open the bracket of numerator so it will be minus root 3 minus 5 minus 7 over this will be 2 uh, root 3 we can write 2 3 plus 5 root 3 and this one we can rewrite it as uh, minus 12 so this will be minus 2 root 3 and uh, first we have taken plus so this will remain as plus we are doing mistake so this minus will be having effect only up to the brackets so this will be 2 I, I will write first minus 5 plus 7 will be 2 and minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 into 3 plus 5 root 3 and this will be 2 we can take from numerator common and it will be 1 minus under root 3 over this will be 2 into 3 plus 5 root 3 and this one we can cancel 2 with 2 and the remaining will be what the remaining will be 1 minus root 3 over 3 plus 5 root 3 this is our x1 value further x1 value we can rationalize and if we rationalize x1 value so it will be 1 minus under root 3 over 3 plus 5 root 3 and multiplied by 3 minus 5 uh, root 3 over 3 minus 5 uh, this is basically we have done mistake this should be minus over here denominator should be minus and now for rationalization we will be multiplying with the plus sign now we can uh, simplify this will be uh, 1 minus root 3 uh, in brackets and 3 plus 5 root 3 
and divided by will be 3 square minus 5 root 3 squared and this will be if we multiply these so now what we will do we will shrink the size of this working so that we can have further space to the readable size i'm reducing and now we can uh, write next 1 into 3 will be 3 and plus 1 into 5 root 3 will be 5 root 3 and minus under root 3 into 3 will be minus 3 root 3 and minus into minus so 5 into 3 root uh, under root 3 square will be 3 so 15 and divided by this will be 9 minus 9 minus uh, 25 into 3 will be 75 so 9 minus 75 and further we can rewrite it as this will be uh, 3 and uh, minus 15 will be minus 12 so minus 12 plus 2 root 3 divided by this will be minus 66 and we can take minus 2 common and this will be minus 2 we can take common and inside will be what uh, basically if we take uh, minus 2 common so inside will be 6 minus root 3 over this will be minus 2 common so inside will be 33 and this minus 2 we can cancel so our answer will be x1 will be equal to this will be what this will be 6 6 over 33 minus under root 3 over 33 over 33 this one will be our x1 value which is uh, done now x2 value also we can similarly simplify and this will be equal to uh, minus if we open the bracket uh, really, so it will be minus 2 root 3 minus 5 and minus 7 divided by will be 2 and 3 minus 5 root 3 and this we can equalize to minus 2 root 3 minus 12 and we can take uh, minus 2 common so inside will be over we can write over 2 into 3 minus 5 root 3 and further we can uh, take this minus, uh, minus 2 common so inside will be under root 3 plus 6 over this will be 2 3 minus 5 root 3 and now we can cancel these two terms and minus we can accommodate basically uh, we can we can multiply with minus so minus root 3 minus 6 over this will be 3 minus 5 root 3 now we can rationalize and before rationalization i'm just squeezing it a little so that we can have more space now x2 will be equal to minus under root 3 minus root 3 and minus 6 over this will be 3 minus 5 root 3 and rationalization will be 3 plus 5 root 3 over 3 plus 5 root 3 and this will be if we multiply this it will be numerator we are multiplying so minus 3 root 3 and 3 into minus 6 will be minus 18 and 5 into under 5 under root 3 square so 5 into 15 15 minus 1 so minus 15 and minus 6 into 5 root 3 will be uh, third minus 30 root 3 so minus 30 root 3 this is numerator multiplication then we can take uh, denominator 3 square minus 5 root 3 square so further can simplification we can simplify 18 
minus 18 minus 30 minus 15 will be minus 33 and this will be minus 33 root 3 so and divided by will be minus 66 and we can take minus 33 common and inside will be 1 plus root 3 over this will be minus 33 we can take common and outside will be 2 inside will be 2 now we can um, cancel this minus 33 with minus 33 and the remaining will be x2 will be equal to x2 will be equal to 1 by 2 plus under root 3 by 2 and this will be our final answer so these are the two values x1 and x2 which we found now here comes question number three and the question number three says the curve with equation y is equal to a sine bx these are the constants passes through the points this point and this point it is given that a b a sine bx plus c has period of uh, 16 pi a part find the exact values of a b c and this is a four mark question we will take the given equation and the given equation is what y is equal to a sine b x plus c and the period is also provided which is 16 pi and period is what period is equal to period is equal to 2 pi divided by coefficient of x coefficient of x and this is period is given 16 pi is equal to 2 pi over b and this implies b will be equal to b will be equal to pi by 8 or 1 by 8 pi uh, no, uh, this will be basically pi will also be cancelled so only 1 by 8 1 by 8 will be b value so we are requiring a b c values we found b and now we'll be finding the a b a, a and c value so we can uh, take the first point basically this point 4 pi and 11 so we will replace in we will replace in the uh, in the given equation and uh, this will become uh, at 4 pi and 11 so 11 will be equal to a sine of uh, b which is 1 by 8 into x so x value will be what x value will be 4 pi which is this one so 4 pi and plus this will be c now we can uh, find the value of this one sine of uh, sine of 1 by of uh, 4 pi by 8 or we can write pi by 2 so sine of pi by 2 will be 1 1 basically so sine pi by 2 is 1 so it will be a plus c so this is our equation 1 which is uh, a plus c is equal to 11 and this is one equation i'm just moving it aside and now the second equation we can use this given second point which is at uh, minus 4 pi minus 4 pi by 3 and 5 our equation will become 5 is equal to a sine of uh, uh, b which is 1 by 8 same value and x value will be minus 4 pi by 3 and uh, plus c and this will be plus c now we'll have to solve this so it will be um, sine of sine of 1 by 8 1 over 8 into uh, minus 4 uh, minus 4 pi over 3 okay so this will be equal to minus 1 by 2 so a and this is minus 1 by 2 plus c and this is equal to 5 so we can multiply the whole equation by 2 so we will get 
10 is equal to minus a plus 2c and this is our equation 2 we will solve these two equations simultaneously and this is uh, 11 is equal to a plus c and we can add these two equations so adding and these two will be cancelled and we will get 21 is equal to 3c so c is equal to 7 so we got c is equal to 7 now we can replace this c value in any of the equations and i am equation i am replacing an equation 1 so we know 11 plus a 11 is equal to a plus c which is 7 so a is equal to 11 minus 7 which is equal to 4 so a is equal to 4 will be the final value so a b c all three values we found and it was uh, four mark question which is done now b part says using your answer to part a find the coordinates of minimum point on the curve for um, uh, x value varies from 0 to 16 pi and this is a four marks uh, question to solve this question we can uh, the easiest way to solve this question is basically we can write the equation and the given equation is what given equation is uh, this one y is equal to a sine bx plus c so y is equal to a sine bx plus c now a b c all three values which we have calculated in part one those we will be using because they are saying using your answer to part a so we can change these values a b c values a value is um, four so we can write here four and b value is one by eight so we can write one over eight or we can write x over eight here and c value is seven so now this is our uh, equation which we are going to use and we have to uh, plot the graph from 0 to 16 pi so we can sketch the graph uh, rough sketch so the easiest way is just plot this coordinate axis after plotting this coordinate axis what we will do we will be taking the calculator and we can write type the equation 4 sine of uh, x over 2 so correction this will be with this one x over 8 x over 8 and bracket close and plus 7 so after typing this equation what we can do we can take the values like sign for, for sign 0 what will be the value so calculate for sign 0 and if we press this is a 7 so uh, it is uh, for 0 it will be 7 so what uh, we can do we can take 7 over here so I am taking roughly 7 over here and this will be our initial point at x is equal to 0 this are this whole equation will be resulting to 7 now for uh, 4 pi because uh, it is up to 16 pi so we can period is uh, up to 16 so we can take this as uh, like for example this will be 4 pi and then 8 pi then 12 pi and we can take 16 pi also for that one we need to extend a little our axis so for the extending axis we can draw the line i'm just trying to be more accurate and then after that we will be extending this to 16 pi so this will be roughly we, we are taking all this so if we label this will be 4 pi then 8 pi then 12 pi 
and this will be 16 volt. Now the same equation which we have typed is over here and we can check for the value of uh, this equation for 4 pi. So calculate for 4 and pi is this one and this value is giving us 11. So we can check for 11 and 11 will be we can roughly take 11 will be over here so we can take this point as 11 and our uh, if we draw a line for 11 that will be helpful so i'm just drawing the line this is 11 line and we can extend a little up to this one and seven line also we can draw and this line which is in the range of seven also we can draw like this so it's like a rough sketch which we are drawing i will redo this one this so now this is like uh, seven and then we have to draw uh, the next value we will be taking first for four it is uh, 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 11 so it will be 11 we can indicate over here and for eight pi calculate for eight pi will be equal to 7 so 7 again it will be at this point and then we can take for 12 pi so calculate for 12 and this is pi is equal to 3 so 3 line also we need to indicate we can take the middle point and this one we can take as 3 and roughly we are sketching this line this will say this is three line these are not equally spaced but uh, we can roughly take it as three and for uh, 12 pi it is uh, three so we can take the point over here and for 16 pi calculate for 16 and Pi will be 7 so again it will be 7 over here so now we got the uh, got the points and we can draw the curve and the curve will be sketched roughly we can draw like this and it will be painting from here and this will be the curve this is the curve which is required so and if we check the minimum point, minimum point is this one, which is uh, uh, 12 pi x value. So we can write, they are saying coordinates of the minimum point. So coordinates of the minimum point, minimum point will be, will be what 12 pi, which is x value and 3 is y value. And this will be the minimum point. Hopefully you understood this. Now this is question number four and question number four says a part show that this can be written in this format and it's only one more question straightforward simple so we'll have to just take the LCM and LCM you know is 2x minus 1 square and this will be 2x minus 1 and plus this will be 4 and now we can open uh, the bracket in the numerator and it will be 2x minus 1 plus 4 over this will be 2x minus 1 and this will be squared and uh, simplifying the numerator it will result to 2x plus 3 divided by 2x minus 1 square and this was the uh, the format which was required it's done now the b part says b part says find this integral from 2 to 5 of this one dx giving your answer in the form a plus log b where a b are constants and this is five mark question 
so the result which we have uh, received we which we have uh, evaluated to basically which we proved this one is equal to this one now we have this and we can write this in this format so it will be integral 2 to 5 instead of this one we will write 1 over x 2x minus 1 and plus this will be 4 over 2x minus 1 squared and you can put brackets over here and it will be dx now we can integrate and before integration we will move this uh, as numerator and we can rewrite it as integral from 2 to 5 in brackets this will be 1 over 2x minus 1 and plus this will be 4 into 2x minus 1 raised to the power minus 2 and this will be dx further we can now take the integral and when we take integral it will be resulting to integral of this will be 1 by uh, this will be 1 over log 1 over this will be log basically log of 2x minus 1 and divided by the derivative this will be over 2 so we can write 1 over 2 log of 2x minus 1 and plus this will be integral of this portion will be 4 as it is and uh, 2x minus 1 raised to the power minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1 and divided by the power which is minus 1 and integral uh, sorry derivative of this will be inner portion will be 2 so we can write here 2 and bracket close and the integral limits we can now we can replace the integral limits and if we replaced if we replace this upper limit upper limit you know is replaced first so it will be 1 by 2 log of uh, 2x mean 2 into 5 will be 10 10 minus 1 will be 9 so we can write log 9 plus upper limit we are putting so this denominator will be resulting to minus 2 so we can write here negative and this will be 4 into and this will be 2x mean 10 minus 1 so 9 raised to minus 1 over 2 and this will be minus the lower limit if we replace the lower limit it will be 1 by 2 log of 2 we, will, we are now replacing the lower limit so 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 will be 3 so we can write here log 3 and plus uh, will change to minus and this will be 4 into 2 into 2 4 4 minus is 3 raised to minus 1 over this will be 2 and this will be closed further we can uh, simplify this so it will be 1 by 2 log of 9 1 by 2 log of 9 minus we can use the calculator for this and this will be 4 into 9 raised to the power minus 1 and over is 2 and this is resulting to 2 by 9 so minus 2 by 9 we can write and we can write this in brackets and we are keeping brackets for the time being so 1 by 2 log of 3 and we can simplify this this will be minus and 4 into 3 raised to the power minus 1 over this will be 2 and this will be resulting to minus 2 by 3 so minus 2 over 3 now we can leave the brackets in next step and this will be resulting to 1 by 2 log of 9 log of 9 minus 2 by 9 and then this will be when we open the brackets it will be 1 by 2 log of 3 and this will be plus 2 by 3 because minus minus will be plus and now we can rewrite it as we will change the sequence and we can write 1 by 2 and log of 9 we can write 3 square log of 3 square and first i will write this so it will be minus 1 by 2 log of 3 and this will be 2 by 3 2 over 
3 and minus 2 over 9 will be minus 2 over 9 will be resulting to 4 by 9 so plus 4 over 9 further now we can write this power uh, before the log so it will be 1 by 2 into 2 log 3 minus 1 by 2 log 3 plus 4 by 9 and we can cancel this 2 with 2 and we will get log of 3 minus 1 by 2 log of 3 plus 4 by 9 and this we can write this will be 1 minus 1 by 2 will be half so 1 by 2 log 3 plus 4 by 9 and this will be our answer in the required format which is a plus log b and this was 5 mark question which is done now question number 5 question number 5 says Variables x and y are such that y is equal to this one and a part find dy by dx so that we have to take the derivative and the quotient law we will be applying u over v format so it will be we can apply the quotient rule which is uh, uh, denominator will be squared and num denominator we are, we are writing uh, it as it is so it will be 3x and derivative of uh, the numerator which is this one log so log x derivative log x is 1 over x so it will be 1 over 2x square minus 3 and derivative of inner portion will be 4x and minus this will be uh, derivative of the denominator will be 3x will be 3 so and numerator as it is log of 2x square minus 3 and now we can rewrite 3x multiplied by 4x will be 12x square so 12x square over this will be 2x square minus 3 uh, as denominator and minus this will be log of uh, uh, 2x square minus 3 and this one we can write over here as par and we can write it as this one and over this will be 9x square and this will be uh, the derivative hopefully you understood this now uh, for b part b part says hence find the approximate change in y when x increases from 2 to 2h where h is uh, small and this is a two mark question we need to find basically dy by dx at 2 dy by dx at x is equal to 2 at x is equal to 2 we need to find so we will be replacing 2 in the above equation over here we can write basically the same equation uh, so it will be if we if we take lcm basically uh, we can we have to basically replace in this equation so if we replace 12 into this will be 2 squared will be 4 so directly i'm writing 4 over this will be 2 into 2 squared will be 4 so 8 minus 3 and minus log of uh, uh, 2 uh, this will be 4 i'm replacing in this so 4 into 2 8 8 minus 3 so we can write 8 minus 3 cubed over this will be so we can move this a little down over here and we can write equal to over here and denominator is 9 into 2 square will be 4 we can rewrite this as uh, 48 over this will be 5 minus this bar we can write before the log so it will be 3 log of 5 divided by this will be 36 and we can calculate this value we can calculate this value by the help of uh, 
calculator so it will be fraction over fraction it will be 48 over 5 and minus 3 log of uh, 5 over this will be 36 and this is equal to 0 0.1325 so 0 0.1325 this will be answer for this two mark question now for c part c part says at the instant when x is equal to 2 y is increasing at the rate of 4 uh, units per second so this portion of the statement we can write dy by dt is equal to 4 so uh, change in y with respect to time so y increases at the rate of 4 units per second find the find the corresponding rate of increase in x so what we have to find we have to find dx by dt this is our target and we can we know dy by dx in the previous part we found 0. Uh, 0. 0.0.1325 this is what we we already have now we know that dy by dy by dx is this this is dy by dx so we can write dy by dt over dx by dt and these are the uh, values which we can we know dy by dt is uh, we can rewrite it as like 12 x square over 2 we are writing from here this one so this is our dy by dx which we are writing and this is the dy by dx which we are copying over here and we can write 2x square minus 3 minus log of 2x square minus 3 raised by 3 over 9x square and we can uh, replace the values this is basically dy by dx what we have done we Okay, if for your explanation, I will write like this dy by dx is equal to this one, and now this side I will divide by dt dt this one, and this value we already have, which is 4, so we will be replacing this value and this one dx by dt we will be requiring, and this. Uh, we already have this one so uh, this value is what we can replace basically 2 and this will be 2 squared over 4 over 5 and minus this will be log of this uh, this was also so basically we can use this value also so dy by dx at 2 if we replace this directly we can replace this value 0 0.1325 and dx by dt will be equal to um, 4 over 0 0.1325 and this will be equal to 4 divided by answer will be equal to 30 point something so we can write 30 units 30 point what is this 178 30.178 and approximately this will be equal to 30 units per second units per second so this will be our answer so the the value of dy by dx at 2 which we we already found in the previous part here this value directly we replaced for this one dy by dx at 2 and that is this value and we found the result Hopefully you understood this now question number 6 and the question number 6 says the normal to the curve of this one at the point p with x coordinate pi by 12 meets the x axis at the point q the line x is equal to uh, pi by 12 meets the x axis at the point r find the area of the triangle pqr and this is eight mark question 
so first of all we need to find the point p so point p will be having coordinates x coordinate is given which is pi by 12 pi by 12 and y coordinate we don't know so the given equation we will utilize to find the y coordinate y is equal to 1 plus 10 of 3x and we will replace this 1 plus uh, 10 of 3 and x will be pi by 12 and we can cancel this this will be 4 so this will be 1 plus 10 of pi by 4 and we can find this this will be 1 plus 10 of uh, pi over 4 will be equal to this will be equal to 2 so y value will be 2 so we can write y is equal to 2 so this value we found is 2 so our p point is switching to pi by 12 to this will be the value how to find the equation of the normal first of all we need to find the gradient of the of uh, this line and from there we will find the gradient of the of the normal so what we can do we can write this equation y is equal to 1 plus 10 of 3x and we will write dy by dx and dy by dx at this point we will find first we'll find dy by dx so it will be derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of uh, tan 3x will be secant square 3x into derivative of 3x will be 3 and we can write it as uh, 3 secant square 3x now we can write dy by dx at x is equal to x is equal to pi by 12 so this will be uh, 3 secant square 3 into pi by 12 and 12 we can cancel 3 with 12 and this will be 4 and this will be equal to we can find this this will be 3 into secant square will be 1 over cos so we can put brackets and this will be cos of pi by 4 cos of pi over 4 and this bracket close and it will be squared and this is equal to 6 so this will this is equal to 6 now gradient m value is equal to 6 so gradient of the normal will be what gradient of the normal will be equal to reciprocal and change sign so minus 1 over 6 so this will be the gradient and the point p we already have which is pi by 12 and and 2 which will be pi by 12 and 2 and we will be writing the equation of normal so equation of normal will be equal to normal we can write y minus y1 is equal to gradient of normal into x minus x1 and if we replace the values this will be y minus 2 is equal to minus 1 by 6 into x minus x1 is pi by 12 so this will be now in uh, if we multiply and shift this minus 2 to other side so y will be equal to minus 1 over 6x and plus this will be uh, pi by 12 uh, this will be my uh, plus pi by 12 plus 2 basically pi by this is pi by 12 into 6 will be 72 basically pi by 72 and plus now for coordinate axis we can draw a small drawing this is the coordinate axis and the triangle basically we have to draw and there are uh, two points one is p and p point is uh, pi by 12 and 2 so we can take p point 
over here this will be our p point which we can write 5 by 12 and 2 and r point we can take r will be 5 by 12 and this will be 0 and r, we require q point also and say this is the q point and q point will be this one uh, pi by uh, so for q point for this q point we can find the coordinate axis that will be we can find the coordinates of the point and in this equation y is equal to 1 over 6x plus pi by 72 plus 2 we are replacing uh, y is equal to 0 so our equation will be 0 is equal to x by 6 plus pi by 72 plus 2 and we can write it as uh, this is basically minus 1 uh, so it will be uh, this will be x over 6 will be equal to pi by 72 plus 2 so x will be equal to 6 into pi by 72 plus 2 and we can rewrite it as x will be equal to so x will be equal to uh, pi by 12 plus 12 so coordinates of q are pi by 12 plus 12 and y coordinate is 0. Now we can figure out this length which is base is 12 units from these x coordinates we can figure out. So this is 12 units and this side which is uh, this one this height is how much height is mm, basically 2 units so area of area of triangle pqr pqr will be equal to uh, half into base into height which is 12 into 2 so after cancellation this will be equal to 12 units square units square this will be our final answer for this question hopefully you understood this now question number seven and the question number seven says a curve y is equal to f of x is such that the second order derivative is provided the curve passes through this point the gradient of the tangent to the curve at this point is minus six point the value of f, f of x and we have to uh, take integral to reverse to from second order derivative first time integral will be resulting to dy by dx and then once more integration will result to resulting to f of x so first of all we will take the equation which is d2y over dx square which is given equation and we can integrate this and this is the equation and after integration it will be dy by dx will be equal to an integration how we are taking we are adding the power will be minus 1 by 3 plus 1 so we can take minus 1 by 3 plus 1 will be how much minus minus 1 over 3 and plus 1 will be equal to 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 divided by this uh, power which is 2 by 3 into derivative of the inner portion which is minus 3 and this will be constant integral c uh, integral constant c now at x is equal to 2 uh, minus 2 this point we can find so it will be basically we can use this point so dy by dx at x is equal to minus 2 will be equal to we will replace minus 2 so 2 minus uh, 3 into minus 2 will be plus 6 and this will be raised for 2 by 3 over 3 we can cancel this over minus 2 plus c and this will be what this will be 
equal to minus 6 because they are saying the gradient of the tangent is minus 6 so we can write equalize to minus 6 and this will be equal to uh, we can simplify this side 8 6 plus 2 will be 8 so 8 raised to the power 2 over 3 2 over 3 will be equal to 4 4 divided by minus 2 will be equal to minus 2 so this is minus 2 plus c is equal to minus 6 c is equal to minus 6 plus 2 so c is equal to minus 4 so this is the value of c which we can uh, write and find the value of y and y will uh, dy by dx basically dy by dx will be equal to uh, we can write it as minus 1 by 2 into this will be 2 minus 3x raised to the power uh, 2 by 3 2 by 3 and minus 4 so now we have to integrate once more and this side after integration will be resulting to y and now we can integrate minus 1 by 2 as it is and integral of this we will be adding power 2 by 3 plus 1 so 2 by 3 2 over 3 and plus 1 will be resulting to 5 by 3 so power will be 5 by 3 divided by the power 5 by 3 into derivative of the inner portion which is minus 3 and integral of minus 4 will be minus 4x plus c and this is given that uh, y value is this one for this point this is uh, 10.2 is the y value and x value is minus 2 so we can replace this these this point at we can say at minus 2 and so at minus 2 and 10.10.10.2 10 point, 10 10 so minus 2 and 10.2 our y value will be equal to y will be y value is 10.2 so we can replace 10.2 will be equal to uh, this one we can simplify and we can cancel this 3 with 3 and further we can we can write this minus 1 by 2 and this will be 2 minus 3 into minus 3 so it will be 6 plus 6 whole raised for 5 by 3 over this will be 5 and minus this will be minus 4 into minus 2 will be plus 8 so plus 8 plus c and c value we need to find so c value will be equal to uh, before this we can solve this is equal to basically if we solve this one minus 1 over 2 and into fraction and 8 raised to the power 5 by 3 5 over 3 over this will be 5 and this will be resulting to minus 16 by 5 minus 16 by 5 plus 8 plus c so c will be equal to 10.2 plus 16 by 5 minus 8 and this will be uh, we can write 10.2 plus uh, answer and minus 8 will be equal to minus 1 so c value is equal to c value is equal to minus 1 and our equation will become equation will be y is equal to uh, this minus 1 by 2 multiplied by 5 will be minus 1 over 10 minus 1 over 10 and this will be basically this is this also minus 3 will change to this is minus 3 this one which will be multiplying to the minus sign so this minus will change to plus so 1 by 2 uh, 10 into 2 minus 3 x raised per 5 by 3 minus 4 x and c value is minus 1 and this will be our final equation of the function which is which was required this is also done 
now this is question number 8 and question number 8 says in this uh, question all lengths are in meters and all times are in seconds a particle uh, a is moving in direction of this one with the speed of 58 a part find the velocity vector of a and this is uh, velocity vector of a will be a magnitude so a magnitude will be uh, under root of x value which is minus 20 square plus this will be a 21 square y value square and we can find this root of uh, minus 20 squared and plus this will be in brackets 21 and square is equal to 29 so this will be the magnitude and k value will be what k velocity k value will be what? will be equal to 58 speed is this one so speed uh, 58 over this uh, 29 magnitude basically we are dividing the will speed by its magnitude and we will get the uh, this one velocity vector we will get the unit vector which will be if we cancel this which will be 2 so k factor we found 2 so velocity vector will be velocity vector of a will be equal to what 2 into minus 20 over 21 which is equal to minus 40 over 42 and this will be the velocity factor hopefully you understood this this is one mark part is it then b part given that a is initially at point with position this one write in the position vector of a at time t so position vector is changing uh, we can write a is equal to u plus uh, vt and this is what oa is equal to oa vector is uh, 5 and minus 3 plus velocity we found is uh, this one minus 40 and 42 into t and this is equal to what we can simplify this so 5 minus 40 t so 5 minus 40 t and this will be minus 3 plus 42 t minus 3 plus 42 and this will be the uh, position vector of a at t now for c part it says a particle b starts to move such that its position vector at time t is uh, this one c part find the displacement vector a b vector at time t and this is a two mark question so a b we can figure out this will be equal to o b minus o a o b minus uh, o a and o b uh, is given which is this one so we can write minus 35 minus 35 t plus 4 and y value is 44 t minus 2 and minus we can write oa which we found in the previous part 5 minus 40 t and minus 3 plus 42 now we can solve this it will be equal to minus 35 t plus 4 minus 5 and plus 40 t and 44 t minus 2 plus 3 and minus 42 t and then we can simplify this it will be 5t and minus 1 and this will be 44 minus 42 will be 2t so 2t plus 1 and this will be our final vector which is required to find now d part d part says and hence find the distance a b at time t in this format where p q and r are constants and this is two mark question so a b mod is required distance so a b mod will be 
the same thing which we found over here 5t minus 1 we will be finding that applying the distance formula so it will be 5t minus 1 squared and plus in brackets will be 2t plus 1 squared so 2t plus 1 squared and we can open the square so a a minus b square will be equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and a minus b square will be equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab these will be the two formulas which we will be applying over here and we will get 25t square plus 1 minus 5 into 10 10t and plus when we will open the second square it will be 4t square plus 1 plus 4t and this will be under root and this will be equal 25 plus 4 will be uh, 29t square and minus 6t and plus 2 and this will be under root and if we compare this with the given format pqr values are requ required so p is equal to 2 q is equal to q is equal to minus 6 and r value is equal to 2 these are the three values which we are supposed to find which is done now for the e part it says uh, find the value of t when distance a b is under root 6 giving your answer back to two decimal places so we can equalize the the answer which we found in previous part which is 29 t square minus 60 plus 2 and we can equalize to under root 6 and root will be cancelled and we can write 29 t squared minus 60 and plus 2 minus 6 is equal to 0 the quadratic equation will be formed and this is minus 4 is equal to 0 solve the quadratic equation mode 5 3 and this will be coefficient of t square is 29 coefficient of t is minus 6 and the constant value is minus 4 and this will be equal to minus 4 29 minus 6 and minus 4 so minus uh, this will be x1 will be so we can write it as so what we can do basically it's a decimal answer so we can use the quadratic formula but i'm just copying this value for double checking our uh, 3 plus 5 under root 5 and over 29 so and the negative value will be minus 5 under root 5 over 29 these are the values which will get as answers so we can apply uh, quadratic formula so a is equal to 29 b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to minus 4 and this will be x will t will be equal to t will be equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac so minus 6 square minus uh, 4 into a into c over 2a and 2a will be 29 now if we solve this we'll get these two answers so t1 value will be 3 plus 5 root 5 over this will be 29 and t2 value will be equal to t2 value will be equal to 3 minus 5 root 5 divided by 29 and the decimal values if we want to check so decimal value will be 0 0.488 up to they are saying up to two decimal places so we can write 0 0.49 so 0 0.49 one answer and the second answer will be uh, this is x2 value if we check this is minus uh, 0 0.28 so minus 0 0.28 and this value negative value we will be rejecting so distance uh, t value of t so value of t cannot be negative so that's why we rejected this
here comes the question number uh, 9 and question number 9 says a part the function f is such that f of x is equal to this for x is greater than a so this is the condition which we will be keeping in mind where a is a small as small as possible part 1 write down the value of a so we need to find uh, write down the value of a so and this is not part of the questionnaire i have inserted for your explanation i'll explain in a while so 5x uh, x is greater than a so we know that this is this cannot be negative value so log of a negative value is not possible so we will take 5x plus 2 as greater than 0 so this implies what x should be greater than minus 2 by 5 so this is basically the condition which we got uh, write on the value of a so x should be greater than minus 2 by 5 now hence be second part is hence find the range of f range of f will be what we can draw a small sketch basically and this will be this will be the coordinate axis and this one coordinate axis and value should be greater than minus 2.5 2 over 5 minus 2 over 5 is what minus 2 over 5 will be decimal value will be minus 0 0.4 so we can take on negative side minus 2 by 5 minus 2 over 5 and value should be greater than log x curve will be like this one it will be curving like this so we can smoothly curve is like this one so this is how we can show and then they are saying find f inverse uh, stating its domain also so f inverse will be what inverse will be all values of real so f uh, will be uh, belonging to r so we can write it should be value should be belong to the real values and if we plot the graph basically plot will be looking like this one we can see this one this is the value which is if i bring it the point basically Trying to change the order. This one. So now you can see clearly this is the graph, and there are so many softwares available on the net on which you can practice and check the original position. This is uh, this is this uh, location, which is x-intercept and y-intercept. The curve is uh, this one smooth curve, which I have shown is. Uh, uh, for log of 5x plus 2 and we can see it is uh, like uh, trying to reach to this line but it will not be touching to this line so this is basically the the x value will be greater than minus 2 by 5 and this side will be uh, approaching to infinity so next section this is the fourth part fourth part says on the axis sketch the graph of y is equal to f of x and y is equal to f inverse of x stating the exact values of the intercepts of the of the curves with the coordinate axis so they have basically we can uh, basically this range is belonging to r is uh, f belongs to r is basically we can write here this working we need to provide for the third part which is uh, this one will be f of x will be f will be belonging to r set of real numbers and for this one f inverse they are saying state the domain and for this one we can write log of 2x 
uh, 5x basically 5x plus 2 and we can uh, write we to get rid of e x value basically we uh, we want to make the subject basically first we will be finding the f inverse of x so x we need to make subject to get rid of this log we are taking e power so e raised power y is equal to 5x plus 2 so 5x will be equal to e raised power y minus 2 so x will be equal to e raised power y minus 2 over 5 this will be now we can swap the values and if we swap the values this will be this will be y or we can write f inverse of x will be equal to e raised by x minus 2 over 5 and this will be the f inverse uh, stating its domain domain will be what it can be e raised for x will be uh, even 0 will be 1 so minus uh, basically 2 by 5 so now we can write we can go through this fourth part which is uh, the coordinate axis is given we have to sketch basically the the graph and this uh, proper sketch i have copied for you we will go through that proper sketch in a while and now we can uh, first we can sketch the uh, the well the f of x and f of x is what we will asymptote we can draw uh, we can draw first which is uh, minus 1 2 by 5 so this will be minus 2 over 5 and it will be from here we can draw it will be minus 1 by 5 and this will be curving like this one and this side will be curving like this and this in y intercept will be log 2 log 2 if we replace y is equal to 0 so this will be log 2 value which will be uh, getting and uh, if we replace like uh, y if i if we want to confirm it y intercept y intercept how we can find this will be y is equal to log of 5x plus 2 so 0 is equal to log of uh, 5x plus 2 and y is equal to so this is basically e raised to the power we can take e raised for this e raised for 0 will be equal to 5x plus 2 so 5x will be equal to e raised power 1 is uh, e raised for 0 is 1 so 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 1 so x will be equal to minus 1 by 5 so x uh, will be equal to minus 1 by 5 this will be x intercept so this is basically x intercept not y intercept x intercept so at x axis uh, y will be 0 that's what we have done and this is a uh, minus 1 by 5 we can write here minus 1 by 5 now for y intercept y intercept we can write for y intercept y uh, we can write y intercept x will be equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 means what y is equal to log of 5x plus 2 so at x is equal to 0 y log of 0 plus 2 we can write 2 so y will be equal to log 2 this is log 2 which we have mentioned over here hopefully you understood this and the inverse graph will be shifting this log 2 to the, to the minus side and uh, this will be uh, we can shift it to minus uh, this side x value will be changing to y and log 2 will be on this side and minus 1 by 5 will be like this one it will be minus 1 by 5 and it will be sketched 
like this one we can sketch it and the proper sketch of the graph uh, is over here which we have uh, started and if we see this proper graph you can see this one mm, this is our black is our f of x and this is f inverse of x and we can see this is like log 2 value this is log 2 value and this is log 2 value y this value will switch to this and f of x inverse and this will be this will be the new point and this one uh, minus uh, uh, 1 by 5 minus 1 by 5 in decimal we have written as minus 0 0.2 so this is the exact graph which i have shown for your understanding hopefully you understood this b part the function g is such that function g is defined for x is greater than 0 solve the equation g square of x is equal to minus 2 and this is 3 mark question so g of x is equal to x raised by 1 by 2 minus 4 and g square of x is equal to g square of x is equal to minus 2 this is given now g square of x we can write it as g of g of x or g of x we can write like this one and this is equal to what this is equal to we will replace this x by this one so it will be x raised per 1 by 2 minus 4 this is x value and raised per 1 by 2 minus 4 so what we have done we have uh, replaced this x by this whole value which is value of g of x and this is equal to minus 2 which is given which we have utilized now this will this is what we need to simplify so x raised for 1 by 2 minus 4 uh, raised to the power 1 by 2 will be minus 4 we are shifting to the other side so it will be minus 2 plus 4 which is equal to 2 and now we can take square on both sides to get rid of this uh, 1 by 2 so x raised for 1 by 2 minus 4 is equal to 4 so x square is equal to 4 plus 4 which is equal to 8 so x will be equal to taking uh, basically we can get rid of this is not square this 1 by 2 so when we take square on both sides this will be 8 square which is 64 and x value is 64 which is done hopefully you understood this was simple question now question number 10 and question number 10 a part says the first three terms of the arithmetic progression are these three terms are provided sine 3x 5 sine 3x and 9 sine 3x and now they are saying find the exact value of x where x varies from 0 to pi by 2 for which the sum of sum to 20 terms is equal to 390 and this is six marks question so a value is first term first term is sine 3x and r or d value basically we can find d value r is in geometric progression so d will be equal to second term minus first term so 5 sine 3x minus sine 3x or third term minus second term whatever so this will be equal to 4 sine 3x this will be our d value and the formula is what s n is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d and we will be replacing value for 20 basically we need for the 20 so s 20 we can write s 20 n is equal to 20 so 20 by 2 and 2 into a is sine 3x and plus this will be n minus 1 20 minus 1 will be 19 into d d will be 4 sine 3x and further we can we know that this is equal to 390 basically we need to prove basically they are saying uh, value is this for which the sum to infinity is this one find the exact value of x okay it's given it's uh, 390 so we can cancel this will be cancelled by 10 and this will be 10 into 
टू साइन थ्री एक्स प्लस नाइनटीन इंटू फोर विल बी नाइनटीन फोर सेवेंटी सिक्स सो सेवेंटी सिक्स साइन थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री नाइन्टी एंड फर्दर वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस विल बी सेवेंटी सिक्स सेवेंटी एट इंटू टेन विल बी सेवन एटी साइन ऑफ थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री नाइन्टी सो साइन थ्री एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री नाइन्टी डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन एटी विच इज थ्री नाइन्टी डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन एटी विल बी इक्वल टू वन बाई टू सो साइन वी कैन टेक दिस एज साइन थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू सो थ्री एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू साइन इनवर्स ऑफ वन बाई टू एंड द प्रिंसिपल एक्सेस विल प्रिंसिपल एंगल विल बी वर्क शिफ्ट साइन ऑफ वन बाई टू ऑफ टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव बाई सिक्स सो फाइव बाई सिक्स इज द प्रिंसिपल एंगल विच वी गॉट नो रेंज इज वॉट from 0 to pi by 2 which is given so for 3x this will be 0 to this will be 3 pi by 2 so up to 3 pi by 2 we need to check so what we can do we can draw the coordinate axis and quadrants basically quadrants will be this one so pi by 6 is like 30 or pi by 6 we can take this angle and exactly if i take this will be from the origin and on this side also so these two are the pi by 6 values pi by 6 and this will be pi by 6 and this will be basically first angle will be uh, 3x will be equal to pi by 6 and the second angle will be from here which is uh, pi minus pi by 6 and pi minus pi by 6 will be 5 pi uh, by 6 and x value will be pi by 18 and pi 5 pi by 18 so these will be the two values which we are supposed to find hopefully you got this now b part b part says the first three terms of the geometric progression are these three terms explain why this progression has a sum to infinity so sum to infinity formula is what s infinity will be equal to a over 1 minus r and r value we can find r will be what r will be second term divided by the first term so 10 cos square x over 20 cos x so after cancellations this will be cancelled with square and this will be cancelled with 2 so it will be 1 by 2 cos x and this value cos x is Specifically, y. So we need to write here y, and this will also be y. So cos y is varying from what? Cos y is value is varying from minus one to one. So half of cos y will be varying from minus one by two to one by two. To one by two. so this is uh, will be positive this will be the value so it it shows that 1 by 2 cos y is less than 1 up to infinity it will be less than 1 so this implies this will be as infinity exists so this is how we can write this answer it was only two more question now for the second part it says find the value of y where y is in radians from y varies from 0 to 2 for which the sum to infinity is 9 give your answer up correct to two decimal places and this is four marks part 
now we can write s infinity which we found is 20 cos 20 cos y over 1 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 cos y this one we have replaced in this formula a over 1 minus r values we have replaced and this is equal to 9 this is what they are telling us now we need to find the value of cos y and after cross multiplication we can write 20 cos y is equal to 9 minus 9 by 2 cos y 9 by 2 cos y and we can uh, basically multiply the whole equation to get rid of this 2 we are multiplying the whole whole equation by 2 so it will be 40 cos y is equal to 18 minus 9 cos y and this 9 cos y we can shift to the other side so it will be 49 cos y is equal to 18 so cos y is equal to 18 over 49 and we can find y will be equal to cos inverse of 18 over 49 and in we can find this uh, this your calculator should be in radian mode and shift cos of 18 over 49 will be resulting to 1.1 and up to two decimal places so 1.19 radians up to 2 dp so this is what we have uh, done now uh, basically we are done with the paper hopefully you understood each and everything don't forget to subscribe the channel also introduce this channel to your respective teachers and recommend this channel to your friends and class fellows thank you very much for watching take care bye